YouTube, Jedi Talk back here with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to make a Jedi robe. This video is already pretty long by itself, so I'm not going to make the intro too long. I'm just going to get straight into what you're going to need for this project. First thing you're going to need for this project is some brown fabric. Uh, I think about six yards would be good, of any shade you like. And some tissue paper. This is the main uh, things you're going to need. And some sewing pins. And a pen and a seam ripper or a pencil. Also, you're going to need some tape, uh, scissors, and a ruler. And that's about it. Let's get on to this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line on a piece of paper and I'm just going to draw out the pattern uh, for the robe itself to show you guys what I'm going to do. And uh, you don't really need to do this if you know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, this really does help, as it did for me. So what I did was I just drawed sort of like a triangle shape with a curve. Well, you can kind of see right there what I drew. So this right here is the sleeve hole and this is the neck hole. Uh, the hole for the neck and the hole for the sleeve. And then this right here on the side is the sleeve itself. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. And then we're just going to be drawing a bit of a D shape for the hood. It's kind of just like two lines and then a, a curve right there. And that's the hood shape we're going to be doing, um, making. Right there, hood. All right. So now that we have um, that out of the way, I just put uh, three pieces of tissue paper onto the fabric itself and then fold it over the third piece to fit around to my shoulders and then I taped it all together like so and uh, I put the tissue papers at the halfway point of the fabric itself so the fabric is folded so it has like a fold mark for where the halfway point is and I put the fabric onto that halfway fold and that's just so when I fold it over it'll have both sides so this right here what I'm doing is just measuring out where my shoulder is by just laying on it and now I'm going to be drawing out the pattern itself first thing I did was I took a measurement of the bottom of my neck as you can see I'm doing right here and yes, I'm wearing a Batman shirt, making a Star Wars robe. Anyway, I took the measurement of my neck, folded the measuring tape in half, and the opposite point right there, that is the halfway point of my neck. So that's half the measurement of my neck. I took the measuring tape in half, folded it again, and now I have a quarter of the measurement of my neck. And that is going to go on the pattern as the neck curve right here, in sort of a semicircle shape right there, as you can see. And then the shoulder measurement is just from my to my neck to the back, uh, end of my shoulder and then the sleeve hole measurement is just the top of my shoulder to a little bit below the elbow you want to go a little bit below the elbow because you want to have some space to get your arm through it otherwise you got to cut it afterwards and then anyway the next part is just to do a slight angle uh, from the armpit hole or the sleeve hole all the way down to the corner of the fabric you just kind of have to line it up a little bit maybe try a couple of times and I had to add some extra fabric at the corner because I ran out before I could reach the corner of the fabric and I also added a little bit of a circular curve at the bottom and now I am pinning the fabric to the, uh, the pattern to the fabric sorry so I can cut it out without it moving everywhere and you don't want to cut the middle point uh, the only place you're going to want to cut is the outside right here where I'm cutting like this the part with the curve on it you don't want to cut the point that you're going to fold over and I'm just going all the way up, and my mouth is moving because I like to pre-talk what I'm going to, uh, pre-rehearse what I'm going to say for these videos. Anyway, I'm cutting out the neck hole, sleeve hole, and then the bottom, and now I'm taking away the pattern and folding over the fabric so I can get two sides, uh, evenly symmetrical and the same shape. And you're going to want to make sure that when you're folding it and cutting it, you're going to want to make sure that every piece of the fabric is um, all flat, flush, or else it won't, it won't fit right because one side was cut a little bit too short or a little bit too long. So that's just a quick tip that you're going to want to make sure everything's fat for, flat before you cut. Anyway, just repeating the process of cutting. And because I had the fabric folded over, I now have four sides, or sorry, two sides of this um, one pattern. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So I'm pinning it, folding it out. You can see this is uh, two pieces of fabric. This is going to be the back and the front. And the front side has to open up and curve around, kind of like ropes do. And to do that, I just folded over the fabric, or folded the fabric up, and put the scissors in the fold and started cutting. And that gave me the cleanest cut I could get. And uh, it worked, worked well. And now the, uh, the rope can open up and um, go around like a rope should. And now I'm going to show you where to sew. And you're going to want to sew just the outside. You're not going to want to show the area, you're not going to want to sew the area that we just cut. The only places you're going to want to sew are the outside lines and the, uh, the shoulder area, but not the neck or the sleeve. For obvious reasons, you don't want to sew up the neck or the sleeve area. 
and just showing you where the pins are is where you're going to sew. If there's no pins on the pattern, that's not where we're sewing. Yet, at least. And now just taking it to the uh, sewing machine. Sorry it was blurry. I didn't know it was blurry at the time. And I just wanted to do some footage of uh, how the sewing machine goes. And then now for the hood. The first thing I did for the hood was measured out from the front of my face um, a little bit outwards. I was about 16 inches from like the back of my head uh, in front of my face a little bit. So I was 16 inches. And then I measured from the top of my head down to my chest. And I tried to do like a little curve right here for the hood. It didn't quite work out. So I just decided to go with a just natural curve for the, uh, the hood. Just a normal hood look. I just did this curve right here. And how long the hood is, is about from the top of your head down to your chest. And that gives the fold look, as I'll show you in just a little bit. And I didn't realize I wasn't filming at first, so everything, uh, you couldn't see what I was doing, so I'm trying to explain it the best I can. And the other side of the, um, the pattern is on a fold, so I didn't have to sew the other side. All I had to sew was the top part. So I'm cutting everything out, as you can see, still talking over what I'm going to say. And now that I'm undoing the pattern from the fabric, moving the pattern away, pinning back up the hood, that's the only place I have to sew because I put the other side on a fold. So that's pretty ingenious. And as you can see, the um, hood being measured from the top of my head to my shoulder gives that uh, folded look that Jedi Ropes should have. And uh, the cool thing about doing this yourself is you can make it any which way you want. You don't have to make it exactly like this. You can make it different. You can put uh, different designs into it, your own style, that sort of thing. Anyway, something you should do before you cut out the hood is measure how long the um, the whole robe is by itself, like the neck hole for the robe. Um, luckily, I'm the love that the, um, the the hood I cut out was the same length as the uh, the jacket itself, or the robe. Sorry. I should really start writing a script for these videos. Whew. And now I'm just pinning everything together and getting ready to sew the hood to the main part of the robe. Don't know what I'm doing right here, just kind of... Okay, there we go. Now I'm sewing up uh, everything. Just going with a straight stitch all around, no nothing too fancy. You could probably do this with uh, hand, uh, hand sewing. That's what I did for my last one. Anyway, this is a good example for why you need to pin everything and check before you sew it, because I sewed the inseam on the wrong side. So basically, it just looks... well, just bad. Anyway. Basically I made a mistake and now I have to go over it with the um, seam ripper and this took me about a couple of hours or just about an hour to unhook every single thread. Uh, I didn't want to cut the pieces of the fabric so I just had to undo undo them. And yeah, so this is just a warning that you should check everything before you sew it. You know, once the pins are in place. Anyway, I re-sewed it twice and now I've got the finished look right there. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I think I did a good job, as best as I could. And now I'm folding over the edges of, this, of the entire rope, just kind of like folding it like that. As you can see, the pins are in place. And you're going to want to fold over it twice. I only fold it over once, and it doesn't look uh, as neat as it should. But yeah, if you give it a two folds, uh, as you can see, they just kind of folded over right there and pinned in place. And then I did like a straight stitch as close as I can to the bottom of the fold. And that's a, a hem, and that just kind of makes everything look nice, and that's not exactly necessary, um, unless you just want it to look nice. And now we're going to do the, uh, the sleeve, and what I did for the sleeve besides the little neck curve, or the shoulder curve right there, is I measured from my shoulder to my hand by just grabbing the tape measure like that, and then I placed the shoulder part where the shoulder is, and the hand part where it's going to land, and then marked it off with a pen. You can use a pen or a pencil, I just don't recommend a lead pencil because lead pencils can cut the pattern paper. The pattern paper. Anyway, once I had the measurement, I drawed a straight line, so I had a guide mark, and then I drawed a little curve through the, um, the sleeve itself. And this is where it comes in a little more creativity, because you can put whatever kind of curve you'd like, kind of different shapes. And then, uh, just cut out the pattern. I think I should have just pinned it down and then cut the pattern with the fabric, but I guess I just did this to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Anyway, pinning the fabric to the pattern, and then cutting out the rest of the pattern. Just cutting straight through. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to remain quiet for a little bit because I don't have much to say. Yes, yeah, so I'm cutting at this curve, and that curve right there at the bottom edge, right there, you're going to want to leave about two or three inches uh, because you're going to sew it and it's going to get smaller. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, drawing your patterns and cutting it. 
and now I'm cutting out this part, which is where the hand or the sleeve is going to come out from. And then I'm unpinning the, pa uh, the paper, the tissue paper, and now placing the fabric onto another piece of uh, the fabric so I can cut out two identical pieces, or symmetrical pieces, of the same fabric for the sleeve. And now that I'm cutting it out, all you have to do is just make uh, one line that's right there. That's the only thing you have to sew, really. And this is optional. Again, this is another hem uh, right there. I kind of folded it over twice and tried to get a real, I went really slow to try to get a straight stitch. You can see where I, pin I pinned it over twice there. And I tried to get a straight stitch as evenly as I can. You're going to want to take it slow. Anyway, this is the front of the fabric. Or, I took the robe, the front side, and stuck the uh, sleeve through it from the outside to the inside. Right here what we're looking at is the inside of the robe with the um, sleeve pinned to the sleeve hole. And you just kind of have to play with it. Again, put some pins in there, make sure everything looks nice, and then sew it together before you sew it together because it sucks trying to get all that out. And when you're sewing it together, you're going to want to make sure that all the pieces of the fabric are lined up and even so one doesn't come unraveled and like it's not a big hole in your armpit because that's going to look awkward. And you're also going to want to take it slow and adjust the fabric every now and again for sewing sleeves. And now we're done. I hope you guys have a great time. Uh, if you guys are doing this, I'd like to, if you guys are going to follow along and make your own, I'd like to see or hear about it. Because that's why I made this video. And I uh, hope you guys, this turns out even better than mine. I think this looks really awesome. And uh, thank you all for watching. And if you like this, please leave a like. I will be doing more tutorials. For now, I'm just going to leave you with the rest of the footage. And uh, I'm Jedi Tark, and I'll see you guys later in the galaxy.